philosopher once asked, are we human because we gaze at the stars? Or do we gaze at them because we are human? Pointless, really. Do the stars gaze back? Now, that's a question. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Our story really begins here. 150 years ago at the Royal Academy of Science in London, England, where a letter arrived containing a very strange inquiry. It had come from a country boy, and the scientist who read it thought it might be a practical joke of some kind. But he duly wrote a reply, politely explaining that the query was nonsense, and posted it to the boy who lived in a village called Wall. So named, the boy had said, for the wall that ran alongside it. A wall that, according to local folklore, hid an extraordinary secret. I am charged with guarding the portal to another world, and you're asking me to just let you through? Yeah, because, let's be honest, it's a field. Look, do you see another world out there? You see a field. Do you see anything non-human? No. And you know why? Because it's a field! Hundreds of years this wall's been here. Hundreds of years this gap's been under 24-hour guard. Well, if... One more word, and I'll have you up in front of the village council. Well, that's... That sounds rather final. Better just go home then, I suppose. Right then. Night, Dunstan. Keep my best to your father. Stop! Stop! deal with time wasters. Get over here and tend this stall. I'm off to the slaughter prince for a pint. See anything you like? Um, definitely. <laughs> I mean, what, 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 I went, what I meant was the, these ones, the, the blue ones. How, how much are they? They might be the color of your hair. Or they might be all of your memories before you were three. I can check if you like. Anyway, you shouldn't buy the blue pills. Buy this one instead. Snowdrop. It'll bring you luck. But what does that cost? This one costs a key. 